All right, well, I've gotten a new charger, a uh, battery charger, and I'm kind of specifically thinking uh, in mind motorcycles, but uh, could use it for the car also. And I'm using my camera phone, so it's uh, I already opened the box because it's tough to do that holding a knife with one hand while I hold the phone with the other. Okay, this is a genius charger. And there was some reasons why I had wanted this. Now these can come with uh, with people with a lot of opinions as to why you would go with one versus another. So uh, just some thoughts on stuff I feel I've learned. It seems like if you have your motorcycle battery stuck on a trickle charger or float charger for a long time, it degrades your battery if you just leave it on there. And I, myself, other people have had personal experience with that and that uh, it um, uh, one day you go out to start your bike and your battery is essentially you've had it on the trickle charger and it's no good anymore. And reading an article on the Uwasa battery website and they stated on there that it's good to give a battery a rest from being on a uh, low, low volt float charger. So uh, the UASA was one of the ones uh, in mind, not, not, not the small one, but a larger one that had a, I believe, how do I say this? It cycled every 28 days. Essentially, it, it, for a period, it gives the battery a rest. And um, in looking, it uh, sounds like the Genius Chargers, not, 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 the, not the low end ones, but going a couple models up. And, and Genius has quite a number of different models. And I'll let you go out to, they have actually got a really good website with some video and information on there. And I think whether you went with Genius or UASA, um, it could be, they're probably both uh, very good. Uh, just some of the ones that uh, are common in department stores um, that are very inexpensive. They'll work, but I wanted something that was a truly, truly a, a smart charger. And some things I liked about this G100 model is it gave you, it's supposed to give you battery condition and whether uh, here you can pick modes to where i as i understand it we're in your th the cold time of the year or not a cold time i thought that was handy and some features that i was reading on the website i'll let you see them here uh, the uasa charger and this one both had a recovery mode so if you have a battery that's bad as i understanding this uh tries to bring the battery back by pulsing in or sending in some high voltage and uh, think about 15, 16 volts or, or whatever it is. But um, yeah, here's was what I was pointing out. Optimized for cold weather, uh, cold weather months. And uh, this came with accessories that are supposed to all plug in with each other. And I wanted to get an extra, I was gonna use one charger uh, for both bikes because I guess I don't really need to have it. Um, I can remember to switch switch bikes with it maybe every month or so. And uh, that should be the other connector. The unit should come with a connector and this is the extra. And then I also got, uh, this is an extension cable. And I thought I would use that if uh, I needed to put this out on the car or something so so I don't know if there's any whoops sit down any other information on here worth worth showing um, this this set in here is a multiple step charger I had also seen that on the UASA website I think the one I was looking at for UASA was a five step this said this said seven um, there's in detail what that is on the website so so um, I liked I liked what I read about the Genius. I'm hoping it's gonna gonna work out to my liking. Liked what I read about the Uasa. The, there's just a little more to pick from in in models and uh, and accessories. I, I think both sounded okay from the website. So um, so yeah, if you're throwing your uh, bike uh, on a, a float charger and just leaving it. Um, might want to might want to monitor monitor that thinking your battery is um, 
being kept healthy and it may not be. All right, I had to leave my knife again to get everything open. So um, here's what one of their cables looks like that you attach to the bike. And then here's the connector and it has a cover over it for uh, rain protection, probably rain and water. And it also has a fuse in there. So for whatever reason, um, this is voltage is crossed. Um, the plugs are in a such a way that um, I don't think you can hook them up reverse. These newer ones sort of assure that. But anyways, there's a fuse in there that's good. And this is the this is the extension extension cable. This will go on one bike, and then this is the unit. Not, not real large. And there's a. Uh, Here's the open connector cable it comes with. And that looks like that is its cap there for protection. And looks like with that, this piece here, it's gonna assure, yeah, that's what I thought. You can't uh, reverse the positive and negative. Comes with a book, which uh, I usually will read those. And um, not a huge unit. This is probably for connecting to a car battery.